Hi guys, today we're talking red flags. More specifically, four red flags you can spot on a first date. They call me Nicholas, they're defined as ridiculous. Number one, ask you where you'd like to eat. Now, asking what you'd like to do is okay. It's a good way to gauge your type of character, what you like doing. You don't want to take someone horse riding only to find out they hate the outdoors. So it's a good way to make sure that you don't mess up the first date. However, choosing for yourself allows you to be creative and you can see if that person is your type of person, if you like the same type of things. But if they ask where you'd like to eat, block them. Asking about any dietary requirements isn't the same thing. That is obviously what you have to, you should ask if they have any dietary requirements allergies and whatnot. You don't want to take someone to a seafood place and it turns out they're allergic to seafood. But that's it. Number two, you don't know who's going to pay. You shouldn't be confused about this. The person who organizes the activity is the person who is paying for the activity. So if you organize the activity, you're paying. If they expect you to pay when they organize the activity, that is a big red flag if it's a question something they've asked about if they just expect you to pay and they organize this date that is a very big red flag and just walk away also arguing about who's going to pay is another very big red flag tip it's always best to pay in advance when you're booking number three little to no communication when you're excited to see someone you're going to communicate and you're going to want to make sure that you're both on the same page if you're confused and you are sensing a lack of communication from this person they might not be as interested as you are or as you may think if you're two people who speak more regularly or whatever amount and you notice a drop in your communication that's a red flag but they may also just be nervous so just bear those things in mind they may be nervous but if this lack of communication continues then you should definitely ask them or just cut them off yeah, i'm joking but if this continues you should definitely ask them if it's something that bothers you and it's come to your attention you should definitely ask them because they might not be interested in a romantic relationship with you anymore they could also be playing hard to get trying not to come across as too desperate so i think you should just ask them because there really isn't any point of playing games it may be that they're going through something and you've picked up on this it shows that you care and it will tell you whether or not they care too, depending on their response. And last but not least, number four. They don't present themselves well. Different people have different standards, but there's a standard. <laughs> For example, they might have bad breath. Maybe their, their breath smells like garlic or you can smell the last meal. They just ate like they didn't brush their teeth or they were eating on their way to you, which isn't a bad thing, but you could mention it point it out because they they might even have an explanation but it also shows a lack of regard for you and oh, what your nose is going to be smelling especially if this is a first date you didn't even brush your teeth you didn't care like maybe their hair's not done they got dirty nails their outfit is just subpar their outfit isn't nice at all like you can tell if someone's made an effort and I'm not saying you have to like go out and wear your best clothes to your first date, but I'm saying you make an effort to look nice and look presentable. Just like you would if you're gonna go meet your friends. Uh-huh. Or well, just like you should. It could also be a medical condition. At the end of the day, all you can do is ask. Be polite. Don't forget to be polite. That's very important. Be respectful and polite, but always ask. These flags don't make or break your potential with this person. But these would definitely make me raise an eyebrow and be a bit weary of the person so as not to waste my time. That's it, we're out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, hold on, let me think, let me pick one. Don't forget to leave a subscribe yeah, boy!